Hey guys, Mr. D. Flip is here. Today we're going to do lesson 7.8, okay? And it is a doozy today. So, my light behind me is going to drive me nuts. Let me fix that. All right, so you need a few things. First of all, definitely need a slate and dry erase or a notepad and a pencil. And the notes today are going to be imperative or essential, right? We know those words from class. Make sure you have less than 7.8 notes. They look like this. That's page one. That's page two. Make sure you have both because you're gonna need them. Today is a doozy, as I was saying. It is not an easy lesson. So that means we're gonna be spending two days on it and we will be practicing this. Um, we might even spend three days on it because it is not easy, okay? So don't get frustrated. That's what learning is, okay? It's gonna be hard, but we're gonna do our best and we're gonna make sure that we rewind, we rewatch, and we reward ourselves when we're done our lesson, okay? All right, so this problem is in your notes. It's five and one ace minus three and three ace. Back my camera up here. Oh my gosh, my desk is a mess. All right, now I'll talk, to the, talk about this in a moment, but we've done some subtraction earlier in the week with mixed numbers where if the numerators in our fractions, if it's like seven eighths minus three eighths, we just subtract, it's four eighths. But when you see this guys, when we try to subtract our fractions here, one eighths minus three eighths, the bottom fraction is bigger, okay? And just like in whole number world, if the bottom number is bigger, we have to borrow, which brings me to this. Okay, this stands for, it's in your notes, bottom, bigger, borrow, B, B, B. If the bottom's bigger, borrow, always the case, always. If it's not bigger, then you just subtract, all right? But in this problem, bottom is bigger, so we have to borrow. Very similar to whole number world, but there's a few differences, all right? So I'm gonna show you those differences now. All right, step number one says, this is right in our notes. Pause, your, pause the video if you don't have your notes and go get them because you need them. Step number one, look at the fractions you are subtracting. If the numerator on the bottom is larger than the numerator on the top, you must borrow from the whole number. Got it. Just said that. Step number two, borrow one whole from the whole number, which would be our five. So I have to borrow one whole from that whole number. So I'm going to cross out my five. Whoop. And I'm going to make that five a four, just like I would in whole number world, all right? So I'm crossing out the five and making it a four. But now where do I put that one hole that I'm borrowing? This is the difference. I'm actually going to build a brand new problem right here, okay? Watch how it works though. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, since I borrowed one from my five and I made my five a four, I'm looking at my denominator in my fraction. And I'm thinking, what fraction could I make that equals one whole that has a denominator of eight? Well, we learned anytime I have a numerator and denominator that are the same, that's gonna equal one whole. So eight ace, okay? Why eight ace? Because eight ace equals one whole, and the denominator told me that I had to make this denominator eight. Denominator eight. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do, and stay with me here, guys. This is the important part. This is where it's different from whole number world. You're gonna see in your notes a little plus sign here. You're actually, you're ignoring all of this problem right now. That subtraction problem, you're ignoring. Now we're just looking at this top row. What's one eighth plus eight eighths equal? Let me slide my chair over here. One eighth plus eight eighths equals nine. Ace, my marker's dying on me, equals nine ace. Now, flip your paper to the next side of your notes, okay? It says, once you have renamed the fraction, you can subtract, but be sure to include your whole number. But Mr. DeFilippis, what whole number are you talking about? This four. We have to make sure that we bring that four all the way over, okay? Because remember, guys, we're doing mixed numbers. So now I have four and nine eighths. And this one, 
does not change at all. We're just going to subtract 3 and 3 eighths. Oh my gosh, my marker. So we're just going to subtract 3 and 3 eighths from 4 and 9 eighths. Now I'm sure some of you guys are thinking, but Mr. DeFilippis, you said that we can't have an improper fraction in a mixed number. You're right, I did say that. But when we are subtracting mixed numbers, our answer is not going to have an improper fraction in it. So our final answer won't have that improper fraction. Watch. Our last step is to just subtract the fractions first. I do my equal sign. So what's 9 eighths minus 3 eighths? 6 eighths. Okay. What's 4 minus 3? 1. So my answer to this, 5 and 1 eighths minus 3 and 3 eighths, is 1 and 6 eighths. So I'm going to write that here. 1 and 6 eighths. Again, guys, this is not easy stuff. So rewind, rewatch, all right, pause the video when you need to. I am going to do another example because you do have another example in your notes here that we're going to do together. Go watch that video now. Don't get frustrated. It's not easy. I know that. Take your time. Use your notes. Take deep breaths. Come join me in room 130 if you're confused or you're having a hard time, but watch the other video first.